Hello, my name is Diane. I'm an information assistant at the Pierre Burton Library. Thanks for tuning in. The math ideas I'd like to share relate to playing some simple math games. Math games are great for reviewing concepts in a fun way since they encourage social interaction and can incorporate a physical component. In this video, I will demonstrate three different math games. Number one is Glass Half Full, which is a number of facts review using stacking cups. Number two, Card Sharks, which is a number of facts review using a deck of cards. Simon says geometry is number three, and this is a review of geometry vocabulary using only one's arms. The only supplies are some plastic cups, a sharpie, and a deck of cards. Let's get started. This is a cup stacking game involving number facts. Using a sharpie, write a number question on each cup. Your child needs to call out the answer before they can use it for stacking. I will show you standing up. Four, seven, 21, zero, two, 13, 100, Two, 10, 30. To change it up, involve a time component or include another child with their own set of stacking cups and make it a little bit more competitive by seeing who can stack all of their cups first. For this game, a minimum of two players is needed. Teddy will help me demonstrate. Sounds like fun. Divide the deck equally. Please note that I have removed the ace, jack, king, and queen, but you can leave them in just to assign a number value for each. Each player flips two cards at a time. I'll flip first, Tully. Thanks. The highest sum gets all of the cards. So if we look at Teddy's, you have a 10 and a 9. So what is 10 plus 9? 15. That's right. And I flipped an 8 and a 7, so that makes 15. So, Teddy, 19 is higher than 15, so you get all of the cards for this round. Hooray! And so forth. Other variations of this game include subtracting the cards and multiplying the cards. For this game, kids illustrate geometric terms related to angles and line types using only their arms. One person calls out the vocabulary, the others demonstrate. For example, parallel, perpendicular, acute, right, obtuse, 180, 360. A way to make this more challenging is for the pace of the Simon Says Like commands to be increased to see if the kids can keep up. Here are some related books in the library collection that you might want to check out. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please click like and subscribe to Vaughn Public Libraries on social media. If you have the opportunity to try any of these math games with your child, we would love to see a photo or clip of their effort. Please post it using hashtag BPL at home. If you would like to see more STEAM educational videos, please check out our YouTube channel. You can find us by searching for Vaughn Public Libraries on YouTube. Thanks for watching and stay healthy everyone.